everyone, and welcome to this educational webinar by ICM. My colleagues, I Mahesh, and I, Wa Al Makaram, would like to thank you for joining. Our topic today is very important and crucial for every trader, as we will cover one of the basic tools for trading, the moving average. So we learned in mathematics that the moving average is a technique to get an overall idea of the trends in a data set. So traders decided to apply this technique to analyze the trend of price data. So instead of having any data sample, they decided to apply this technique on a data sample that consists of certain different prices for different asset classes, for different instruments, anything that can have a price chart, could, uh, we could apply a moving average technique on. So I'll just explain in simple what, it, what is a moving average. So uh, for, for, for the, it's a very basic. So an average is a middling value of a set of data that could, be, the, the data could be opening price, closing price, high price, low price, or any data derived price calculations for a certain instrument. I'll show you a small example on, on Excel. So it is calculated by adding up the last X periods. We choose the period for the analysis that we want and then dividing it by number uh, by number X also. Uh, so, so for example, so for example, here I have uh, 10 different prices for gold for let's say 10 different days or 10 different hours. So each period consists of, or, or each uh, number consists of a certain price. So this price, for example, if I want to moving average 10, so I'll take these, the first 10 values and then I'll add them and divide them by 10. So I get the moving average, uh, the average of uh, of these 10, uh, 10, 10, uh, 10 data points. And then if I want to go for the moving average, I'll, I'll ditch the first one and I'll add these 10. So uh, I'll have another number and also I'll do the same for the next one and for the next one. So these points are the averages. If I combine these uh, points together, it will average. So it's very have it. We, you don't need to 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 worry about all this. The moving average uh, tool on the MetaTrader 4 platform it does all the job. You just need to choose the period and uh, the 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 type of the moving average. We'll talk about the moving average in a while. So this is for for a small explanation about the moving average. So usually they use it for identifying a trend. So when a trader wants to 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 check whether the market's kind of uh, the market is going up or down, he he, he wants to make sure. Uh, what's the bias in the market? He, they can they can use uh, the moving average to simplify or to smooth out the price action available. So it will filter most of the noise available in the market to show him a direct trend or uh, an, an, an easy, simple identify the trend. So moving averages are usually the most used common uh, moving averages. There are simple and exponential moving average. We'll talk about the types now. So the first uh, use, the main use is identifying trends. And the other is using the moving average as dynamic support and resistance. So there are some periods that a lot of traders use, for example, the period 50, 100, and 200. They, they are mostly used by traders. So along uh, on these uh, on these moving averages, usually buyers and sellers will be waiting for the price action, the market action, how it will react when it approaches such price, in order to check whether the market can rebound or it can continue. So it depends on the market movement. I'll be showing you all uh, everything on the MetaTrader 4 platform. Also, we'll go over some charts here to know the uses of a moving average. So the major types of moving averages mainly there are. They are split between traditional or the, the well-known moving averages and some some modern uh, known moving averages. Among the traditional, we have the simple, exponential, linear, weighted, and smooth. They are available on MetaTrader 4 platform. And the other is the, the modern. We have the double exponential moving average, triple exponential moving average, the Wilders, and the whole moving average. They are also known, but they aren't available as a built-in on the MetaTrader 4 platform. So a trader has to buy these uh, moving averages or maybe find them online and then plug in to uh, to the Met uh, the MetaTrader 4 platforms. Each uh, each of these, uh, these types has a different way of calculation. The simple will give the same weight for all the uh, the, the data sample. Exponential would give more weight to the last uh, the, the least the, the latest data. The linear also will give the highest uh, weight for the last data and will progressively becomes less for the earlier data and the smooth is is almost an exponential but with the longer period so so this is for the traditional i'll i'll go on i'll go over uh with some examples 
So this chart here, it shows uh, it shows the euro dollar chart. We have two moving averages. They are both uh, they have both the same period, but they are of different types. So the first type is the simple moving average, which is shown in red, and the other is exponential moving average, which is shown in blue. Since the exponential moving average will, will apply more weight on the latest data, we can see that the blue moving average is more close to the price, while uh, while the the red will also will give uh, normal weight or uh, equal weight for all the data sample, we can see that the, the red is farther from the uh, from the price. So this is for the you can see same period for two moving averages. This is the effect of the weighting or the calculation of the moving average. So we have two moving averages, same period, 100 for each. But this is uh, but this is the uh, the, the difference of calculation it is showing one closer to the price than another so usually between uh, between the types of moving averages and also the periods of moving averages there's always a dilemma traders will always think about which is the best type to use or what are the main periods that we have to use there is nothing uh, there is no one uh, one uh, one answer for this so uh y usually uh if, if the, the moving average is closer closer to, to the price, usually it gives faster signals, but also uh, it could give some uh, faulty signals sometimes. And when the moving average is farther from the price, usually it gives more uh, clearer signals. So uh, so this is the, the, the break point uh, for moving averages. Uh, we can get a faster entry, but also this will, will lead to uh, sometimes a higher number of trades leading maybe to to, to more percentage of uh, of defects, while if, if we have like a simple moving average with uh, with some uh, some filters, maybe we can have better filtration. So we have less trades, but we have higher accuracy. So this is the uh, the ratio for the moving average. So what are the uses of a moving average? Usually, usually traders can use either a price with a moving average. So uh, we we have this chart in front of us here. The picture is showing. Uh, here a price, just a normal uh, price chart for the euro dollar against the moving average, which is here the 200-day uh, simple moving average. So uh, here, what what I'm looking for, I'm assuming that when the price moves above the moving average of a certain period that I chose, I've chosen, which was here the 200 days, I would be expecting a further move higher. So here, when the price crossed above. The past 200, uh, the, the moving average of the past 200 days, uh, I got a buy signal since the price crossed above the moving average. I would be looking here to buying the euro dollar, and we see the market rallied higher. And also here the opposite, when the market, when the price moved lower than uh, or below the 200 uh, 200 day moving average, or this is the the. the uh, 200 day uh, 200 day simple moving average so this this could mean that the market is going to go down further and here i got my sell signal so this is very simple we're just using here a price uh, a price a chart and uh, one moving average so uh, the signal will be earned by a crossing between the price and the moving average when the price crosses above a moving average it's a buy signal when the when the uh, price crosses below a moving average usually it is a sell signal or a meaning that the market could move lower so now we're going to go to the other uh, type or other uh, use that we can we can have we can apply two moving averages one a fast fast moving average and the other is slow. So here we use the 50 day simple moving average and the 200 day simple moving average. With the 50 day, I can use the crossing between the uh, the two moving averages instead of using the crossing between a price and the moving average. So this is usually also uh, will, will lead to less uh, to less defects or less uh, less negativity. So so this is for uh, for the the, the moving uh the, the we buy it for using two moving averages instead of a price and a moving average so this the fastest moving average or the faster moving average will act as if it is a price so here we we look for uh, a cross between a price and a moving average here we look at the cross between a moving average a fast one with a smaller period and the longer one so uh, I'll get my signal here for a buy and get my signal here for a sell. So usually sometimes it is uh, maybe you'd say like if I used only a price and the moving average, I could have gotten in earlier. But also we have to look for 
so sometimes here it was a clear uptrend, but sometimes when the market is moving sideways, it is better to use two moving averages since they give us less defects or less entries to the market with higher accuracy. So this is for another use for a moving average. So first, to recap, we have one uh, price and the moving average. Two, we can use two moving averages. One, uh, it acts as if it is a price and the other for a direction. Also, the uses for moving averages. Also, here we can use two moving averages, but here it's also a little bit different. We can use the moving average for a filter. So I'm using the 200-day simple moving average and also the 50-day simple moving average, but I'm using the 200-day simple moving average for having only uh, for having uh, like a, like a trend. So I'm just identifying the trend. So if the price is trading above uh, above the uh, if the price is trading above the 200-day uh, simple moving averages, 200-day uh, simple moving average, so this means that the market is going up. I'm gonna look now for entries. Where I'm gonna look for entries for a crossing between the price and the moving average, 50-day simple moving average. So here, I it is as if the price, the, the the chart is split for two, one for a direction one for giving me the direction, the red is giving me direction, and the blue is giving me the entrance or the signal, uh, the entrance for a trade between, which is the crossing between the price and the moving average. So here, if, since the price is trading above the red line, I'll look here for a cross or for a confirmation, uh, a crossing for the price above the 50 day simple moving average, I'll buy here. Also here, I'll look for buys only. So when the market moved down, I don't want to trade this. I don't want to enter this trade. I just, I'm just looking for buy since the trend is up. So I bought here again. Here I didn't enter the trade. And again, since the market moved up again, I'm entering another long trade here. So one, two, three, and four successful trades. So, so this is for here the the, the moving average act as a support. Now we're going to talk about support and resistances currently. So here the moving average, this time it, it acted as a support. Here it acted as a support, and here too. So. So traders were were jumping in when the market was uh, was uh, retracing back towards the 50-day simple moving average. So this is another use of the moving average. We can use two moving averages: one to get the signal by a crossing between a price and the moving average, and the other for direction in the market. Okay, so uh, I hope it's clear. So for this moving average, also this is I'm using here the 100-day simple moving average. It is also it acts as a support. Uh, the, in this chart, it, it is acting as a dynamic support. So when the market is touching the 100-day simple moving average, jumpers, uh, buyers are jumping in to, to buy again. So here we got a buy, and here we got a buy. The market rallied, another buy, another buy, another buy. So we got six uh, entries. The market, uh, the market found support near the 100-day simple moving average. And when the price here closed, the market moved down. When the, when the price finally uh, traded below or crossed below the 100-day simple moving average, the market went lower and lower. So this is, a, this is a small example of showing how a moving average can act as support and resistance. Now we're gonna move to the MetaTrader 4 platform. I'm gonna show, to, show you how to, uh, how to plot the moving average. It's very simple and, uh, and you, can, you can practice it in order to, to check, uh, to, to be familiar more with it and apply it on your trading. So this is the MetaTrader 4 platform. Okay, so uh, these are the four types of moving averages available on the MetaTrader 4 platform. So here you can see they are all of the same period, but uh, but, but but they are of different types. I'm gonna delete them and show you how to uh, to, to plot them together. So it's just easy. It's either you have the navigator here. From the navigator, you click on uh, indicators, the trend. Uh, and under trend you have moving average here, or you can easily here also we have uh, custom moving averages. Also you can use it here, or you can cl click on insert indicators, you go for a trend, and also you can go for moving average. So we have three types you can access, three ways you can access a moving average. So you have to choose the parameter now. So for example, we're using a period 100. We are using the hourly chart, the one hour chart. So here I choose the uh, the MA method, the moving average method, method. So for example, I'm using simple. And here the price, the data set that I'm gonna 
use to apply the moving average. It's either I'm using the closing prices of the H1, the opening price, the, the high, the low, the median price, which is the high plus low over two, or the typical price, which is the high plus low plus close over three, or the weighted close, which is the high, low, uh, close and uh, divided by four. So we have four prices here. So so this is uh, these are the data sets that I'm going to use in order to, uh, in, in my, uh, and my moving average. So for example, let's use the simple moving average with, with, with brown color. So this is the simple moving average. We can see that the market moved up and here we got this cross here and the market moved down. So we, we got a good signal here to buy and then another signal here to sell. So uh, it was clear, another signal here to buy and another here to sell. So this is very simple on the, we're using the gold one hour chart uh, by using only the 100, uh, Simple 100 hour simple moving average. We got a buy signal here, we got a sell signal here, another buy signal here, and the sell signal here. So this is for uh for the for the simple moving average. If we want to add the other type of moving average, for example, also 100 period, apply it for the close. I'm gonna put the exponential here. We can see that the exponential I'm gonna use is, uh, use a different color for the exponential. I'm gonna choose red. So for example, here you can see that the exponential. Uh, was uh, the, the 100 period exponential was closer to the price than the simple moving average. So it's closer here, it's closer here. So here I got some entries and these were false entries. So so here I could have uh, ended with a loss due to the, uh, since, since the price is, uh, since the moving average is close to the price. Also some traders do use the, the crossing between, uh, b b between some of the moving averages of different types. So here it is a buy signal and then they closed here and then they enter it again as long and then closed here. So also this, this can be used as, a, as an example of two moving averages. We are using the same period, but also here we are uh, we are betting on the type of the moving average. For the for the third type, let's use the linear weighted, which usually is close closer to the price and more sensitive. So this is here the blue. You can see it is more sensitive and closer to the price. So I'm gonna get faster signal. My signal here, I I got a I got a faster signal, but also my exit could have been here. Uh, so so it's it's always. Uh, and the, the it's it's also always like a, sometimes it has some positives when when I get a faster entry, but also uh, a good exit. But also sometimes I could I could exit a good move or a proper move uh, faster. So here, for example, if the price moved a little bit lower, I got a little bit scary and went out of the market. I could have missed all this rally up. While well, the simple moving average, it secured all this move up. So this is this shows the the differences between the moving averages. I'm gonna use also the fourth. I'm going to put it in green. So uh, this is the smooth. The smooth is the farthest one for the moving average. It doesn't give, uh, it's, it's not giving here much of a signal and it is far away from price. It is less sensitive. So usually it's taken for uh, for just identifying a trend and not more for, uh, for a cross. Thing platform they are of the same period they are all of the period 100 we are using the the uh the data of the last 100 h1 the closing price in order to calculate let's say i'm gonna change this close price i'm gonna put it for uh for weight close not not uh, we, we maybe maybe we can't uh we don't get a little bit of uh of a change so let's check so here you can see if, if you change the pricing uh, the input of the moving average, the, the we are applying it to to low price. You can see the market, the, the the moving average changing lower. Also here, if we apply it, for example, for the close price, you can see it. So it, uh, it depends on the data set that I'm using. So this will decide what the moving average will look like on the chart. So we're gonna look uh, for. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the live examples currently that we have in the market. So this is for the dollar yen, the weekly chart. This is the 200 hour exponential, the 200 week exponential moving average. We saw that for the past four years, as the market approached to the 200 week exponential moving average, we we uh, we entered a, a selling. Uh, we had a selling uh, a pressure. So here the market, the 200 weekly uh, exponential moving average, acted as the short resistance for the price and uh, it didn't allow the price to rally higher. So sellers were jumping in at this point. So here we got this rally and here we got this rally again. And the latest rally also, uh, this happened during the COVID-19, ahead of COVID-19, we witnessed this rally up and we got sellers, the market moved down. And then here we retested the 200 week exponential moving average and the market again moved lower. So here we're talking about 
like uh, 118, the low was 108, so we're talking about 1,000 1, points also. Uh, here, every time there was a rebound from 114, the market was moving down at least 200 points to to 112 or 111, and then we got the five, the biggest move uh, lower. Also here we got a drop from 111.70 to 101, so also 1,000 points almost. And currently we are another one uh, around around 500 pips. So this is for the for the 200 week exponential moving average on the Dow Jones. But we go for the Australian dollar, which witnessed a, a good rally recently due to some positive risk sentiment. So here we can, we, 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 we are witnessing uh, an uptrend. The market is clearly moving uh, in an uptrend. We can get some good signals by uh, by the crossing of two moving averages. So for example, here we had the cross of the 50 and 200 hour exponential moving average. We have this cross here. So we got a buy signal and we're still holding the buy. So uh, traders who are using the uh, this method to entering the market they entered the, the long signal when the market when the 50 uh 50 hour exponential moving average crossed above the 200 hour exponential moving average and they are still holding the trade so this is for uh for those who who follow this uh this kind of uh, of technique maybe they'll exit when the price if they don't have any price targets they'll exit when the price crosses back uh, when the 50 hour exponential moving average crosses back below the 100 the 200 hour exponential moving average so this is a small also uh the interpretation for the 50 and 200 hour exponential moving average on the australian dollar chart let's go for the dow jones also for for indices it was clear that the 200 weekly it uh, it, it proved a good uh, good support for the stock for the stock market since 2012 so here we're witnessing uh, some some pretty pretty good support for uh, for the market here also the the 100 hour the 100 weekly exponential 100 week exponential moving average we saw some rebound another rebound another rebound and here also when the market was getting closer to the 100 we got some full retracement back in 2018 the market found support exactly at the 200 week exponential moving average so usually the 100 the 200 week exponential moving average is very good for uh for, for finding support on long term trends uh or or a bigger uh, bigger trend moves in the market so this is for the 200 uh, whether we're using the 200 uh, hourly 200 daily or 200 weekly so period 200 usually it's good for having uh, a longer uh, a longer view so so this is mainly it for the moving averages they are very simple to use you just have to uh, use your demo accounts to practice it you can use different moving averages types apply also different different uh, prices like a closing open high low check which one is, is better for you for your style of trading and then uh, apply or enter some trades in order to get more familiar with this indicator trying to to reach a, a better strategy to a better performance for you so I'll uh, I'll end my part here, and my colleague Sai will uh, will explain the MACD moving average conversions divergence, which is uh, which heavily relies on, which is uh, dependent on moving averages, which is also consists of moving averages. So uh, Sai will continue, and uh, we'll keep the questions to the end. Sai. Thanks. Thanks, Wail. Hello, everyone. Uh, Ramadan Karim to everyone. So let's we move on to. Uh, MACD. So, right. Right. So, it was a great explanation from Wile regarding the basics about the moving average. So, what you're going to see here, it's like uh, uh, how this moving average has been used, formulated for some different tools. So, this MACD, it's like basically it's a moving average, convergence, and divergence. So from the word we can say in short we say MACD or we can say MACD. Uh, this is one of the trading indicator uh, used for uh, technical analysis of any markets, uh, which has been uh, invented in 90, late 1970s something where. So till now it has been very popular uh, indicator, uh, which is basically designed uh, to reveal the changes uh, of the market directions or we can say momentum. Uh, duration of uh, trend, you uh, know, change of trend price. So these are most important popular technical indicators, very clear. So the character of this uh, uh, the, the indicator or oscillator, we can say, it's a basically a both leading or lagging indicators, which uh, basically shows a moving average trigger lines. As Wile was saying about the most important uh, about the different types of uh, 
uh, moving average where in this macd uh, it has been formulated based on the moving average which normally kept as exponential moving average so if you see a moving average divergent and convergence from the word we can say there is a convergent and diverge happens so from the few uh, slides we can able to understand what exactly the macd is so it's a trend following momentum indicator so that shows a relationship between the two moving average understood that is a two moving average where their correlations happens and there's a diversion and convergence divergence and convergence happens so this moving average convergence divergence indicators can be interpreted in a several ways but the more common methods are crossovers and diverse so basically in, in any moving average systems or any moving averaging tools it's completely a, a, a formation of signals which cross overs or divergence and convergence so that how exactly it has been uh, formulated so when you coming to the a small slides here a, a, a small screenshot about the charts how exactly this moving average has been uh, formulated into the uh, uh, charts so here you can see the market uh, macd has been plotted where i'm going to show how to plot the macd on the mp4 also so here we can like there are uh, lines over here right so let me go through the explanation first so you can see the three two different things will be seen like basically like a histogram histogram in sense like you can see the bar graphs over here let me check you can see the bars here right so these are the bars uh, let me, these are the bars called histogram so it is the difference between the 26 day and 12 day exponential moving average line. So this has all been inbuilt already. So just we need to go and plot it, no need to go for a different time parameter to set it, but still uh, there are default uh, uh, parameters have been set already and been proven uh, to work on this uh, MACD. So histogram is basically a bar graph where you can see it is difference between the 26 day moving average and 12 day exponential moving average. So MACD line, that means like it's a line formatted by combining the top of the histogram bars. So signal, which is a nine day moving average. So here you can see from the graph, which is, uh, let me check, which is, we can see from the graph here, these are the histogram lines, which has been difference between uh, uh, the 26 and uh, 12 days moving average so uh what are the red line we can see which are the signals you know so wherever the there is a convergent divergence happens between these signals uh, this part so that the trend is going to be changed so whenever the the histograms in the top and above the zero lines where the conversion and divergence happens at the particular point there's a trend change happens here so this tool will be used on the base for the trends so this is all exactly this uh things so for a better understanding let me take a, a proper uh, so here what is the moving average and convergent division the mac indicator calculates the difference between the fast and the slow moving averages so macd is a 12 day exponential moving average minus 26 day moving average the signal line is nothing but a nine day exponential moving average which i showed you there so major key points to be uh, focused on this MACD is that uh, where the MACD triggers technical signals when it cross above or below. That is the most important thing. So how to identify, how to uh, how to like take executions uh, on the markets. So if you say that way, so like whenever a yeah, small uh, ex ex examples here. So here I I shown you the example of. Uh, let me check. That is a technical issue hold on please so here you can see in the charts like you know wherever there is a convergent divergence happens the red line which is a signal line and the blue line which is a difference of uh, two exponential moving average and there will be you can see a histogram coming under so these are the signals which been happened in uh, given the signals on MACD. So whenever you see there is a below signal happens, the zero below the uh, zero uh, bottom side, we can always be on a buy side. So you can see the markets move along with the directional upside direction. And when there are the convention happens here, the, you can again see the uh, a downside trend happens here. So these are the major uh, two things to be seen here. 
So where we can see the explanation that MACD triggers technical uh, signals when it crosses above to buy and below to sell at the signal line. So that is a major uh, points to be a uh, look into it. Though MACD is uh, it's basically applied in a daily, weekly, or monthly price charts uh, because it majorly works on a wider range time. So even because of you know to avoid noises or uh, uh, false signals on a lesser time period like one half an hour or 30 minutes or one hour or other few hours so it gives some false false signals but this macd works very good and give a lot of good performance report i mean uh, result on work on uh, applied on daily and weekly and monthly charts uh, trade charts so basically this macd trading strategy is a two moving types as i said like a two periods which correlated as uh, we are correlated with this and it has been given the signal based on that uh, so uh, as ends like go on long whenever you want to go for a buy so when the macd signal turns above uh, up below the zero line or when you want to go for a short the macd turns down below the zero line so these are basic things but if you say uh, setting up the macd parameters or default will be fine because as you know that my is already set as 12 6 12 26 and 9 so 12 and 26 it's a uh, macd exponential one and nine is the signal one. Still, we can go still at a sensitive uh, one, like five, three, eighty, five, five. But you need to uh, check it out how the performance with the different instruments. You know, different instrument has a, a momentum, market momentum based on it. For example, take for currencies, take for gold, metals, or take for energies, or take for stocks and indexes. So based on that, like you can uh, set up the uh, the parameters. But I suggest you, like as your beginner or maybe your like try to learn the MACD and initial stage, but keep as defaulter and try to uh, use the strategy and try to work out the uh, performance on this. If you come into the chart wise, so let me uh, plot exam, uh, show how to plot the MACD on the MT4 platform. So what I'm going to take uh, yeah, Euro one. Let me check. There is a stump technical issue. Once hold on, please. So where I'm going to show you how to plot the MT MACD on the on your uh, MT4. Very simple here. Once you have created that chart, so go to the insert or we can able to see MACD on the direct uh, to track it here. You can see the MACD is uh, tools are available here. Just track it to the MT4. And there are uh, different parameters can be set here, inputs. So as I said, like you can uh, start learning with the, by default parameters like uh, 12, 26 and nine, which are the default parameters. Uh, like if you don't like to go for a change of colors to keep it bright and lighter so you can always keep it over here and you can just uh, apply on the chart so once you apply you can able to see the the directions uh, move in in the chart so what i'm going to expand this little bit so you can see there so whenever there is a change happens, whenever the, there is a change happens in the trend, where I'm going, to, I took a weekly chart of Euro USD dollar. So whenever there is a change happens, so you can see the trend change here. So this is a point where uh, the histogram starts on the positive side. So this is a call you have to take it from here to be on the buy side. Moreover, it also supporting, you can see very, uh, surprising part in supporting the moving average, other moving average also. So it's a good level like uh, taking a call here and whenever the ma market reverse back, again, there is a drawback in Instagram. It's trading below, starts going on a below zero levels. So this is how exactly it has been. So mostly like it's it's not it's very simple to see or look into it, but you need to practice uh, on a smaller scale, like to do some demonstrations on this. Don't so that you can able to understand in a better way where exactly the how to uh, how to uh, indicate how to identify or how to understand the MACD. So MACD is uh, it's as like you know only with MACD it's it maybe not give you a, a, a complete result or maybe a, a full hundred percent result. Maybe you can use some combination of other oscillators and indicators. Maybe like a Bollinger Band with MACD 
or we can say MACD with the RSI relative and the index or maybe with the stochastic. So this works uh, very good. It normally with only with the NMACD, it may give 60 to 70 percent or more below than the result. But we have a combination of uh, two or three uh, type of two indicators and oscillators. So the result will be very good and uh, you can it will really have a long time uh, uh, trend changing indication will be there for you. Uh, that's how exactly the a small intro is just a basic about it so that you know once the uh, next webinar we'll try to give you up more information and uh, uh, going to understand deep into the all type of uh, indicators and oscillators thank you thank you sai so if you have any questions please write them down in order for us to answer them So if you please have any questions, please write them down in order for us to answer. Okay, so this is the first question. How can I update my MACD into two lines instead of the histogram bars? Sai? Yes, uh, how how can I update my MACD into two lines instead of uh, Instagram bars? Yes, basically, uh, it's type of, uh, uh, you know, some MT4 uh, allows to keep two lines along with uh, uh, the X MACD exponential as well as signal, but basically the, the main idea of uh, executing the uh, the call or uh, executing the trades is based on the Instagram. So when you have a signal on Instagram, when you have like a above the zero line or below the line, that is more than enough or maybe can darknesses. So it's it depends on uh, the the applications used on it. But if you're okay, not able to get it, but it may available on MP5 or maybe any other we have a three platform like mp4 mp5 and ctrader but ctrader has option of both like a plotting the histogram separately plotting exponential separately so what but ultimately from your questions like uh, the, the execution will be based on only with instagram so obviously it can be very clear to initiate the trades from that point okay so another question for macd yeah for MACD or suitable only for sideways situation or not no, absolutely. I don't uh, advise you go for consolidation or sideways movement because there will be a lot of noise uh, on the markets when you go with uh, a sideways markets move. So basically, it's it's well good. Like as I told you in the uh, uh, earlier, like it's well good work on a, in, a, in a longer time period, like daily, weekly, or monthly. So it gives a good result. But to be like a closer time period, it's definitely you lost a lot of false signals. So that will disturb your entire strategy. So make sure that. That uh, even you can work like so I'm not saying not to do that, but if you go with uh, any smaller duration like 30 or one or four hours, make sure that you have a proper strategy with a combination of other indicator oscillators, then you can initiate the trades on this. Yeah, so as we said, uh, all the moving averages that are best when the market is trending, but when the market is moving sideways, it is uh, they aren't very efficient. So uh, as Sai is saying, you can use other indicators as filters in order to support you in your uh, in taking your trading decision. Uh, Sai, another question for MACD. Yes, is MACD for long or short? I think I have heard you were saying that it suits best for longs. Uh, no, I mean to say it's both sides. It's, it's suitable for both the trend. It's not even for only one side trend, only on a buy side. It's suit for both sides. What I was saying to you, it's a long trend. It's, it's, it's a long type of trends. You know, for example, it's it's it's, it's, it's gives signals and gives indication. Of a long run that's what i was meaning but it's it's it's, it's used for both the side of the trend 
Okay, so uh, there is someone who's using three moving averages, 50, 100, and 200, but I put smooth. So uh, it, it depends on your uh, on your aggressiveness to, to the market. If you feel like you want to enter, you want to have more trades, and you're using other filter, other indicators for filtering the defects, you can you can go for uh, for linear weighted. If you want faster faster trades, you can go for uh, linear weighted. This is the fastest. Then you have the the, the less fast is exponential, and then you have the simple. And then the smooth. The smooth is is a way. Uh, it's it's a, bit, a little bit it shows. It's a bit slow. So uh, usually, if you, if you need more trades or you're gonna you're going more aggressive, you can you can use other uh, other types of moving averages such as the linear weighted or the exponential. You get faster uh, faster entries, but also you'll have higher number of trades where the, the percentage or probability of defects or losing trades could be also high. So so this is the the trick between using moving averages, different types of moving averages. Uh, so I what, what are the best suitable, suitable time, time frame for, for yeah uh, for moving well, well, you, you want to answer it? Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, so um, there is no there is no suitable time frames for for a certain chart since the moving average or the MACD they will all look at the at the at the chart as if it is the same uh, as as if it is the same whether whether it is the thirty move thirty minutes the one hour the one day the one week one month it doesn't it doesn't matter since it's the same uh, it only looks for the price action that's happening within a certain uh, a certain time frame so it depends on your type of as a trader if you prefer like shorter entries you have to look for smaller time frames but if you want to hold trades for long you got you got to choose uh, longer time frames uh, such as the h4 uh, the daily or the weekly it depends on on your uh, uh, your expectations to hold the trade any idea of the most reliable ma for intraday trader a combination of two or three that works the best uh, well usually there is you can't uh, we can't tell uh, that, that certain certain uh, periods are better than others there is no there is no such a thing some traders do prefer using like five uh, five and 21 on the daily chart since the five is, is almost like gives us a signal for a week but the 21 days it gives us a signal for the month so the price action for a month so when the price of this week uh, the price action this week crosses above the price action for the whole month usually it's taken as positive and vice versa but there is nothing like uh, uh, the, the, like a perfect answer for uh, for uh, number of periods of of moving averages or even the type, it all depends on your uh, your, your type as a trader. If you are a risk, uh, if if you are aggressive towards risk, maybe you go for linear linear moving averages, yeah. linear weighted moving averages, faster or exponential. If you are less risk uh, risk if you risk averse, so you can go for smooth, simple or smooth. So that's for uh, for for the better outcome. Uh, si yeah. Does, yeah. Does uh... MACD as a lagging indicator? Not really. Uh, basically, like MACD, which is a, a really uh, a slow and steady indicator, basically, if you say compared with other indicators and oscillators, uh, not like, it is not at a lagging at all. But it's, it's with the combination that could give a good result on this. So, on your combi the combination, the parameters, and your strategies on with which instrument, which time frame, this is all very important. Which just plotting MA city and gives a result. No, it don't works like that. It has to give you combinations with strategy, with the time frame, as well with instrument you're trying to follow it. But in generic criteria for 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 technical indicators, as a generic uh, criteria, most of the technical indicators are lagging indicators because they are dependent on on the price action itself. So there are some so, so a little that they aren't, but uh, but uh, for the the bigger criteria, they are uh, they fall under the lagging indicator criteria. But uh, but as uh, as I say, it uh, said it's a uh, it's, it's a perfect tool for trading. Any further questions? Which YouTube or website can I watch this? Again, these lessons. Okay, so you can find it on ICM Capital YouTube channel, or just uh, email us at webinar at icm.com, and we'll send you back the link to to watch it again. When you see a combination of MACD so with other one... indicator, uh, sorry, yeah. When you see a combination of MACD with other indicators, how I can draw out a signal uh, from there? 
see uh, that's what i show you the how to plot the, I, 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 if i'm not wrong what your question is like you want to know how to draw the signal lines so signal lines will by default will be available by any cost so like if you go to the macd plotting on the graph so you can see two uh, majorly one is the histogram one is the signal line so that the line which majorly takes you the directions you know so that means like uh, already there's a parallel along with that the exponential lines will be uh, parallel along with us and whenever the, the convergent divergent happens of the chart so basically the instagram instagram is going to be change the plus side or the negative side that is a major thing but anyway the signal line will be available on your plot whenever you're plotting on the msc the charts okay there's another question Uh, so, sorry, there's a continuation for this question. Uh, okay, you answered it perfectly. So, for MACD histogram, are helping to count the Elliott wave or not? Sai? Yeah, no, uh, the, for MACD histogram, for helping her count the Elliott wave or not? No, definitely, uh, it's a different uh, scenario, basically. Elliott wave is a different concept where you're going to find the uh, a, a five type of waves, you know, one, two, three, fours. And so basically, the concept and the studies and the, uh, the type of uh, formulations is different. But what MACD is just a, a simple way where the moving average is going to take. But in fact, the inside trade of inside understanding of uh, Elliott wave along with MACD, which there is a, not there's much not correlations are being counted along with this. Yeah, sometimes do traders they believe that uh, the the distance between the peak and the trough on a histogram is the uh, is the wave itself. So if uh, if we're moving from a, a peak to a trough. Uh, Maybe in an uptrend, the market is moving from a peak to a trough, and it's smaller. Maybe it, it is used as a corrective wave, but also impulsive waves are when when it takes longer to form. So, so there is no no clear rule, but uh, but some of traders they do do believe that the distance between the price action between a peak and a trough on the histogram of the MACD, they they could be uh, used as uh, indications for uh, for Elliott waves. Any further questions? Any questions? So we just want to remind that all the information in this webinar are only for educational purposes and uh, they are only here to, to increase your knowledge curve and education curve in order to help you have better trading performance and they shouldn't be taken as any signal or recommendation to trade. Any further questions? Can you tell me about the nine exponential moving average? So the, the nine exponential moving average is nine um, the nine day exponential moving average. If we're using the daily chart on the MACD, there, uh, uh, but it's it's quite fast. So 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 so, the, so that's it's sensitive. It's very sensitive. But usually when the market is moving in, in short trends, uh, usually you get some good uh, some good rally. But also you have a higher number of trades. Okay, we'll stay for additional two minutes. If anyone has any question. Okay, you need the link to uh, to to, re to watch the webinar again. So kindly just send uh, send an email to webinar at icm.com and we'll send you back the link. So just to repeat, our uh, the, the webinars are always on available on our YouTube channel, so uh, you, you can find them ICM Capital, or also you can find the links on our our social media platforms. They are also linked to uh, to YouTube channels. How about Moving average for line applicable. Yeah, maybe you can you can use uh, how about, yeah, there are a couple of uh, traders they use something there is called a ribbon, which is uh, a set of moving averages. So you they use the long term moving uh, the longer moving averages, the longer period for uh, for the for direction, and they use the smaller for intersection. So here you can use it for for this one if you're uh, if you're asking about the 10, 25, and 50, you can use the 200 for uh, for longer term direction for the longer term trend, and uh, any any uh, execution or uh, uh, any cross for the 10 moving average above the 25 and 50. So this maybe you can use the 50 also for confirmation. So maybe this could be uh, additional filtration if you're using the 10, 25 and 50, you use them for the signal and the 200 for the direction, maybe it could work out for you. Okay, perfect. So uh, we want to thank you for uh, for joining, for attending this webinar. And hopefully on Monday we'll have uh, we will have the weekly uh, market update webinar, and on Wednesday also we'll have another educational webinar to 
uh, to, to show you uh, or to, to support you in knowing more indicators or more technical uh, analysis tools that, that can support you in your trading. So this is all. Asai, you want to add anything? Thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, we are most welcome about your feedback anytime. If you need more information, it's our website and the email ID is available uh, to get you more information from our side. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, so, so you can reach us at webinar at icm.com or support at icm.com for uh, for any any kind of support. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for joining.